Welcome to Network Root. Today we're going to configure OSPF in Junos. In this topology, we have R2 and R3 directly connected over interface GIG000. We're going to configure both connected uh, interfaces into area 0, a backbone area today. The prefix uh, for the directly connected interfaces is 23.23.23.0 slash 30. In addition to that, each router must have a router ID to identify the router from which the OSPF packet originates. In this case, we have router IDs in this topology for R2 and R3 assigned to loopback 0 interfaces of 2222 and 3333. To start the config, first of all, we're going to configure router ID on R2. In Jonas, router ID is configured under routing options so that it is independent of uh, all the protocol. Uh, it doesn't belong to OSPF only. So we're going to use a set command and we're going to go under routing options and set the router ID. Next, we're going to enable the interface of R2 connected to R3 under the OSPF process. So we're going to use again set command to enable the OSPF on gig 000. We're going to set the interface loopback zero under the OSPF process as well for reachability purpose. So we're going to set the interface loopback zero as passive, as a best practice. Commit the config. We're going to take a look at the routing options running config just to confirm the router ID is set. We can see that the router ID of 2222, that is the loopback IP address of R2 is set under routing options. Next, we're going to verify the running config of protocol OSPF. We see that OSPF area zero is enabled for interface gig 000. Similarly, area zero is also enabled on loopback zero and it is passive. Config for the OSPF on R3. We're going to enable the interface gig 000. For the OSPF process. And loopback interface 0 as well. Just to make sure that the router ID is also set under the routing options. So in this case, it's the loopback zero IP address of 3333. Commit the config. Just to verify the routing options. And display the OSPF config of the router. You see that the OSPF area 0 is enabled for the interface gig 000 and loopback 0. To start the verification, we're going to run show OSPF interface. The output tells us that the gig interface 000 is configured. State field tells us that the gig interface 000 is a BDR on this network. Area is 0. DR ID and BDR ID fields tell us the DR and BDR IDs on this network. In this case, R2 is the BDR on this network. Next, we're going to take a look at show OSPF neighbors. We see that the address 23.23.23.2 .23 is an IP address of the interface directly connected. State indicates that it's full. The router ID of the neighbor is listed. Priority is 128 and finally the dead interval. 
Next, we're going to run command show OSPF route. The output indicates the prefix 333 is received intra area via the interface directly connected and the next stop. Just take a look at the routing table of INET0 and see how the OSPF route is placed in the INET0 table first. So we run show route table INET and we see that the prefix received of R3's loopback is installed as OSPF. The value of 10 in the brackets in is the Junos default routing preference. The numbers outside the brackets show how long the routing table has known about the routes. The metric value is 1 is the cost to the destination. The IP address of 224.005.32 is the multicast OSPF address. Just take a look at OSPF database. We see that similar to Cisco, we have the LSAs listed in the database. In this case, we have the router LSA for the uh, loopback of router 2, and it's a local LSA, and all the related details of sequence number, age, and etc. are listed. Output is very similar to Cisco iOS. And finally, we're going to take a look if we have the reachability to the prefix received from the neighbor. Yes, we have. Thank you very much for watching.